Okay, coming at you with a very real time wedding guest, get ready with me. <laughs> I have my hair in pinkles, um, cause I'm gonna do like a backwards updo. So lots of you will be interested in that, I know. But I'm, this is a late, I've got not much time to get ready either. And I always bring a mirror with me to a hotel room and sit in front of a window because there's nothing worse than hotel lighting. Right, so let's go. I'm gonna share my products with you. First of all, Estee Lauder. BB highlight. This is a wonder product. I absolutely love it. I kind of do my makeup in stages. So like I will do my hair and my makeup at the same time for like to be fast whilst like my mascara is drying and stuff. I have two new highlighters to try from Milk Makeup. So that's kind of the first color. I don't know if you can see it's like a gorgeous like goldy tone. And then this is like a gorgeous pinky tone. I don't know which one to go for. I'm gonna go gold. Then I'm gonna go in the corner with Winky Lux palette, which I actually use a lot of really randomly. This color I like, as you can tell, it's the only one I've used. <laughs> Just in the corners. Then I'm gonna go in with my MAC palette. You can see the ones I use. It's like a darker shade here. Just in the corners of my eye. So you can see. So I've just gone in with my first coat of mascara. I use the L'Oreal Waterproof Billion Million Lashes Mascara. It's really good mascara. And I actually, a little tip, um, the wand is quite big, so I use the wand from this one because it's smaller. But I prefer the smaller one, so I just switch it over. So the hair, I've just very loosely pin curled it. Um, just back, so I could back comb each section not to actually get curls um because i'm going to do it in an updo this is a really easy way to have your hair looking fabulous when it's not washed you've been on a train it's taken me an hour to get here i should tell not in london so instead of like washing and blow drying my hair this is something i just simply do <laughs> looking good looking good so whilst my mascara dries, I'm gonna sort out the mane. So all we need is hairspray, a comb, and a paddle brush. I'm gonna sort this out. And then we're gonna scrape this back and then twist it. So at the back, I don't know if you can see, Kirby gripped so it's secure. And I know what you're thinking, that looks awful. But now we're gonna shape it. So I'm gonna bring it forward at the front. Lots of hairspray. And then, so if I show you the back, this would actually probably make a nice um, half up, half down do, but I'm gonna put it in a ponytail. Just below the curvy grip that I've just put in my hair. So this is kind of the situation that I'll have at the back. And now, so <laughs> this is an old extension. This is what I use to make the bun a little bit thicker, even though this would probably create a thick bun. I like the long bits hanging, hanging down. So this is one strip, but just with a clip at one end. So I'm gonna clip it underneath which I can scoop all the hair up from underneath as well so you don't have any loose bits hanging down and then wrap it round the ponytail. And then pin it as I go. So these pins will be hidden by the bun so you don't need to worry about them too much. Just make sure it's nice and secure and doesn't come out. So this is the situation. Looks awful right now, but now what we're gonna do I'm gonna create some sort of bun. Okay, so hair done. I literally just put it in a knot, like as if you'd put your hair in a top knot and then pinned it. So, situation. It's gonna have to do. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the Marc Jacobs Felt Tip Liner. Oh my God, it's so good. It's like impossible to get it wrong. It's like one of the easiest things to do. So if I just do a really unflattering close-up, you'll be able to see that I've just created. So this is why I always do my eye makeup first so I can get rid of all the baggage 
underneath my eyes. I don't understand why people would do foundation first. It doesn't make sense in my head. I'd look at all that fallout and that would have been under your foundation. Like all that eyeshadow. So now I'm just gonna go in with the Giorgio Armani Lasting Silk UV Foundation. Love this. I haven't found one that beats it. I quite like the Chanel. Um, Fondotron? No, what's it called? The Chanel one. I'll link it down below. That's like a lighter version that I like, but I just, I love this. I can't find one that's as good at it. Because it's a long, going to be a long day, I literally try not to put much foundation on at all. I literally just brush it lightly over the skin rather than caking it. Because I find if you go in heavy, it really gets, um, like, it doesn't look good after a while. So I go on really, really light. Like a very faint brush just to give it like an overall airbrushed look. But like your skin's still shining through. So I'm just gonna brush over, I don't do much to my brows, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna brush over them with the Benefit Gimme, Gimme Brow just to like make them smooth. I'm not really a brow person, I don't even pluck them ever. Then I'm gonna go in with the BB highlight underneath my eyes. This is like my favorite trick. Marc Jacobs powder, the accomplice powder, amazing. Really airbrushes your skin. Marc Jacobs bronzer. And then I'm gonna do slight contour with it. Marc Jacobs blusher. Milk highlight in the, in the gold. Estee Lauder eyeliner then I'm gonna go back in with the brown underneath my eyes and mascara on my bottom lashes then I'm gonna go in with the Rimmel lip liner then I'm gonna go in with a slightly darker one to define the cupid's bow and then finish off with the Shiseido lip colour in shade Electro Peach. Then just go over one last time with the bronzer. And good. Okay, finished look. Gone for just like my hair. It's like kind of um, messy. And then I'm just going to finish it off with Miss Dior, my favourite perfume. Probably worth far too much love this one so yeah hope you enjoyed this makeup now i'm gonna show you my outfit and let's go to the wedding so this is my outfit it's from river island i just got some pearl earrings in and some chi chi london shoes with some amazing glittery bits in and then my bag as well is from chi chi london Come 